how do European imperialists control Asia? They can get to Asia more easily, but how do they control this continent? Let's go to India. The year is 1756, and the word is trade. The Europeans, especially the British, want India. The Mughal Empire in India has declined, and the British East India Company starts to control much territory in India. This is the logo of the British East India Company. And you see in this map, every territory in pink is the area in India where the British East India Company controls. How did the Indian citizens respond to the British rule? In 1857, they respond with an armed conflict called the Sepoy Rebellion. And this causes a rise of nationalism in India. The Indian citizens want to rule India for themselves and not have British officials tell them what to do and how to rule. In 1885, the Indian National Congress is formed. And this is a picture of the first meeting of the Indian National Congress. They are a political party that wants to peacefully protest British rule, and their goal is self-rule, independence from Britain. In 1947, after many years of protest and hard-fought reform, India is granted independence from Britain. It takes a long time, and the man who helps make this independence happen is Gandhi. More on him later on in the year. Moving on, how do European imperialists control Asia, specifically Japan? Moving back to the age of exploration, we've talked about Sakoku, which literally means locked country in Japanese. And it's this idea that no foreigner could enter, nor could any Japanese person leave the country of Japan on penalty of death. Japan wanted to keep itself isolated. But all of that changes in 1853, when the United States, under U.S. Commodore Matthew Perry, negotiates a trade deal with the Japanese shoguns, the military leaders, and Japan opens itself to trade with Europe and the rest of the world. So America opens up Japan. What happened to Japan after it opens itself up? It becomes an industrialized military power. Factories produce machines and weapons. And in 1941, Japan uses its industrialized power to attack America. That is the definition of irony. How do European imperialists control Asia, specifically in China? Well, all of these European countries have spheres of influence, areas of trade. You see France and Britain and Germany. Even Japan had a trade post. China responds with the Boxer Rebellion that starts in 1898 and ends in 1901. What is the Boxer Rebellion? In fear that China would be colonized by the European powers, the USA declares an open-door policy, and foreigners start to dominate China. A small group of Chinese from the Chinese countryside stood up to who they called the foreign devils of America and Europe, and they were called the Boxers, a.k.a. the Society of Harmonious Fists. And these are trained assassins. They believe that they would be overtaken by gods during the battle. They believed God was on their side. And they were successful at first. They took the European section of Beijing, a city in China, and they held hostages for many months. However, as the rebellion goes on, foreign powers invade and squash the rebellion and the boxers are defeated. 
In conclusion, we can say that imperialism spread the economic, political, and social philosophies of Europe throughout the world, especially to the far east of China, India, and Japan. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Before we go, please fill out your summary questions. And until Unit 7, this is Mr. Deegan, signing off.